I have some edible ginger growing in pots by the Larry Hall method. A few stems have dried up and some stems have toppled over. So it looks like it's time to harvest. I'll take this pot over to the wheelbarrow. You might notice there is a net pot protruding from the bottom of the pot. This was immersed in a four inch pipe that supplied water to the pot by capillary action. Let's turn the pot around and cut off the foliage. This is a lot better than bending over, isn't it? How about this for a harvesting method? It's time to put on the gloves and start looking for some ginger. These pots were placed in here to add extra aeration as well as save on the growing medium. The growing medium needs to be separated from the clump of ginger rhizomes. The thin roots need to be broken off. And finally, we end up with a clump of ginger rhizomes. That was so much fun, we're going to harvest another pot. This pot has more rhizomes and it's causing the pot to burst. There's a fair bit of root growth protruding from the net pot. Here's a side view of the burst pot. This pot has more shoots than the first pot. The ginger's a little bit stuck, but shake, 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 and it'll fall out. Again, the pots are removed from the clump of ginger. They saved some growing medium and added aeration. This ginger clump is so densely packed but I'm going to have to break apart some rhizomes. While I'm cleaning up this ginger, it might be a good time to tell a story about Ed and his teenage daughter, Ginger. Well, Ed had two tickets to the Hawaii football game, and he decides to take Ginger with him, but she really doesn't want to go. She'd rather go shopping instead. He says, no, I have these tickets. You have to come to the game with me. Poor Ginger is totally bored. And then suddenly, Hawaii scores a touchdown on a 100-yard kickoff return. The crowd goes wild. Everybody's cheering. The noise is deafening. But Ginger is sitting quietly there, totally bored. And old Ed looks at his daughter and says, Come on, Ginger, root. Yeah, I know these are rhizomes, but that wouldn't make a very good story. This is a pretty big pile of rhizomes from this one pot. You might be interested to learn that the seed piece of ginger doesn't decompose like a potato seed piece. And here it is, fully intact, but a little bit darker than the other rhizomes. Remaining growing medium is washed from the ginger clump by pressurized water from a garden hose. The ginger clump may need to be broken apart. And sure enough, there's growing medium trapped inside that needs to be washed away. The ginger's pretty well cleaned up now, so let's go ahead and weigh it and see how much we have. So the first pot yielded about two pounds of ginger rhizomes. Now the ginger rhizomes from the second pot are being washed. There seems to be about twice as many rhizomes from this pot as from the first pot. It's kind of relaxing to watch ginger being washed, isn't it? Are you surprised that there was this much ginger in that pot? Hmm, four pounds of ginger. That's about twice as much ginger as from the first pot. How does this compare to what is possible? Well, I was privileged 
to be part of a marvelous study by Dr. Hepperly et al., where 15 gallon bags of growing medium were top watered and given multiple applications of numerous organic and inorganic fertilizers, and plants were healed three times. Yields averaged 15 pounds per bag, but just feast your eyes on this enormous production from one bag. However, if our pots were spaced one foot apart in the row and the rows were four feet apart, that means we could have about 10,000 pots in an acre and at four pounds per pot, that would be 40,000 pounds per acre. Now consider that from 2004 to 2008, Hawaii's average field ginger yield ranged from 30,000 to 43,000 pounds per acre. So this low maintenance growing system is capable of matching the average state yield. Getting back to reality, the ginger rhizomes are spread out in a plastic tray and allowed to air dry for a few days, and then they'll be ready to take into the kitchen. They'll lose 10 or 15% of their weight by air drying. Now we will spend some time talking about the details of this ingenious Larry Hall growing system. I cut a two inch hole in the bottom of a 3.8 gallon pot, then filled a two inch net pot with growing medium, then placed the net pot in the bottom of the pot. The net pot will serve as a wick to water the growing medium in the pot by capillary action. Smaller pots are placed in the growing pot to increase aeration and to save growing medium. These pots aren't the best for this purpose, but it's what I had available. The pot can then be filled with coir growing medium. One and a half ounces of dolomite will be mixed into the coir. Then three ounces of NutriCoat were mixed into the upper one third of the pot. This fertilizer releases nutrients over a 270 day period. I would have preferred to use the 180 day release fertilizer, but I only had the 270 day fertilizer. NutriCoat contains both major and minor elements. One of these days, I'll make a video which explains how to calculate how much dolomite and fertilizer to add to each individual pot. It is very important to use disease-free ginger seed pieces. I like to plant a couple of two to three ounce seed pieces per pot. A four inch PVC pipe rests on a two by four, which is sandwiched between two two by sixes. The PVC pipe is nearly filled with water. The nest pot is placed into the opening, the growing pot rests on the 2x6s, and the birds are cheering me on. A constant water level is maintained in the pipe by a float valve sump assembly. The sump consists of a modified juice bottle. Water leaves the sump through a 1 quarter inch tubing in the cap of the bottle. The water passes into a closed one half inch poly tubing, then a one quarter inch tubing leads the water to the four inch pipe. The float valve sump assembly is covered to discourage algae growth. Rainwater was caught from a greenhouse roof and supplemented with municipal water when necessary. Water flowed by gravity to the float valve sump assembly. Well, folks, I really applaud Larry Hall for developing such an effective, low maintenance growing system, which enabled me to grow a respectable crop of ginger that only required my effort during planting and harvesting time. For now, I bid you aloha.